we're getting some breaking news coming to us from Nigeria. We're hearing reports of a bomb attack at a mosque in the northeastern city of Madaguri. At least 22 people have been killed. We can speak to Sophia Adengo. She's been uh, she's on the phone. She's been following the story for us from Abuja. Sophia, uh, tell us more about uh, what you what you know about this bomb attack. Well, what has become all too familiar in the northeastern part of Nigeria, this time in Borno. Uh, Borno is one of three states that, have, that has been confronted uh, continuously with the Islamic terror group Boko Haram. In this case, a suicide bomber entered a mosque uh, early Thursday and uh, during prayers detonated a bomb strapped to himself. He is said to have entered the mosque, uh, you, you know, without uh, anybody suspecting that perhaps, uh, you know, bombs were, were strapped to his body. Uh, Twenty-five people have been, uh, you know, declared um, casualties of the bomb and many more injured. Now, the emergency service workers are rallying around the survivors and taking them to a nearby hospital known as Maiduguri's main hospital. Uh, the, the attack, although has not... Um, been claimed responsibility by Boko Haram is believed to have been carried out by the members of the Islamist group uh, simply because this seems to be the typical fashion with which uh, this area has been continuously bombarded by uh, attacks such as these. Um, Boko Haram, of course, has been uh, de-escalated in many parts of Borno. However, these lone uh, suicide attacks uh, tend to continue. Okay, Sophia, uh, many thanks for that uh, breaking news there. Coming to us uh, from Nigeria, reports of a bomb attack at a mosque in Maiduguri. At least 22 people, we believe, have been killed.